Salutations crustaceans, I'm Lobster and today we're going to be diving into the world of string swaps and checking out a set of tape wound strings from Labella on our Ibanez Affirma AFR5. Let's do this! This is my Ibanez Affirma AFR5 WAP. Now I've already done a review of this bass and I think that it's a cool bass, however it's not for everybody. So I gave it a 3 out of 5 claw rating. We also had this bass featured in an MJC Ironworks string video where we took a look at it with uh, nickel plated stainless steel strings. I believe it is using uh, the same type of strings on here. I believe it's a newer set. These are MJC Ironworks and nickel plated stainless steel. 45 to 125, I think, for the B string. Either 125 or 130. I think it's 125 though on this one in particular. Um, it's 34 inch scale, as I mentioned, and we have 24 frets on the G string, uh, 23 frets on the D string, and 22 on uh, the E and A string. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so it's an interesting setup. Um, this also features a piezo pickup in the bridge, as well as the single Bartolini candy bar. Um, so I originally played this bass and I thought that it sounded good with the rounds, however, uh, after playing a bass with some tape wounds, well, thanks BB. After playing a different bass with tape wounds, I was curious to see how this bass would respond to those. So I picked up, well, now literally just picked up, a set of Labella Deep Talkin' Flats, and these are the tape wound, nylon tape wounds, and these are the black ones. Gauges 50 to 135. So there is a bit of a gauge difference, but I'll make the necessary adjustments and uh, we're gonna go ahead and see uh, what these are gonna sound like on this bass. But first, let's uh, make a bass line bass line. <laughs> Using these round wounds. Well, let's go ahead and do that. You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. right side we do have an active treble and bass control for this Bartolini soap bar pickup I believe it's a Bartolini import not US correct me if I'm wrong and then we have a separate volume control for the piezo pickup in the bridge and that is paired to a tone control for the piezo so let's go ahead and just solo uh, the piezo pickup by itself without the Bartolini <laughs> tone down all the way now. Very nice, very nice. So uh, there's our little bass line bass line. Uh, let's just solo the Bartolini real quick, do the same thing, and uh, we'll keep the EQ centered, and then we'll go ahead and swap these strings. <laughs> side. I think that this is definitely going to benefit from those tape wounds and give it a much different character. Let's go ahead and swap them. 75 years later. And we're back with the Labella Deep Talking Flat Nylon Tape Wounds in black on our Ibanez Affirma AFR5 WAP. Now I literally just plugged this in after tuning it up so let's see what these sound like with uh, 
everything centered. We have the preamp centered, the tone at 100% for the piezo pickup, and both pickups at 100%. <laughs> Sounds very interesting. Let's go ahead and uh, cut the Bartolini pickup as well as negate this two band preamp and just play with the piezo pickup for now. Now let's turn the tone down to about 50%. really interesting strings. I had to loosen the truss rod a bit because um, they are, I guess, like lower tension or they feel lower tension uh, than the steel counterparts. Um, I noticed that there's a lot less effort involved in, uh, in getting that sound where you're, you're really digging in, like... I'm like barely plucking it there, so I have to play extra light. <laughs> now let's go ahead and bring the Bartolini back into the mix and cut the piezo pickup. Here's the preamp centered. Let's cut the treble by about 50% and boost the bass by about 50%. I'm going to go ahead and bring the piezo back into the mix at about 50% volume and 100% tone. <laughs> Very 
nice, very nice. Now with this particular setup, let's see how she slaps. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, actually, you know what? Let's play this with the pick real quick. <laughs> now finally let's go ahead and throw some drums behind this bass with the current settings as is so we have the treble cut 50 percent uh, i'm actually going to bring that back to center we have the bass boosted 50 percent and the piezo at 50 percent volume and 100 percent tone <laughs> So here are my final thoughts on the Ibanez AFR5, WAP, with the Labella Deep Talkin' Flats on here. And these are the nylon tape wounds in black. Uh, they're a little something to get used to. They definitely feel different and sound different than their uh, steel counterparts with the nylon wrapping. Very different tone, very different feel. Uh, much lighter touch required versus uh, a stainless steel, which I can kind of beat up a bit more. Uh, so I got to be cognizant of that when playing these. I could probably do a better job setting this up with the new strings, so I'm probably gonna spend some time doing that. But anyways, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord channel, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the Ibanez AFR5 with the Labella Deep Talkin' Flat Nylon Tape Wound Strings. And as always, until we groove again.